So we've been looking at the operation of a, a sawmill, how we would do an analysis in order to produce an LCA of maybe producing one cubic metre of sawn wood. But that sort of analysis, if we're looking at the, the whole process or the whole life cycle of a product, that part, the production side of the process, which includes the forestry operations, that is what's called cradle, which is obviously where something's born, in our case the forest, to factory gate. So that analysis only considers the first part of the life cycle. But if we want to do a full, oh dear, gate. If we want to do a full life cycle assessment, then we have to consider other parts of the life cycle as well. So we're going to take the wood and we're going to transport it maybe to a construction site. So in that case, we have to look at the construction process, the energy that's involved in doing the construction, and maybe the other materials that go into producing a product that's used in a building, maybe we're looking at a window or cladding or something like that, there may be other materials like paint or screws or other materials that are going into that product. After the construction part, we have the in-service phase, the life phase of that product. And whilst it's in service, there may be maintenance that we do. We might be painting the window or the cladding, or we might be maybe even replacing some parts over the lifetime of that particular product. And that product may be in service for 60 years or 100 years or 50 years, and we have to take that into account. We have to decide how long our analysis is going to go for. At the end of life, then, we remove that product, and then what's going to happen to it? Is it going to be... Is it going to be reused in some way? Is it going to be recycled? Maybe the wood that we've used in the cladding is going to be chipped and used in particle board, or maybe it's going to be incinerated and used for energy. So we have to consider that as well. So this would be the full life cycle. And eventually, of course, we've started at the forest to produce this wood. And eventually, of course, at the end of life, if we did incinerate, then that carbon dioxide from which the wood was made in the first place will be returned to the atmosphere and then eventually it will reappear in trees that grow in the forest. So the whole process that's going on here really is sometimes called follow the atoms. <laughs>